What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule previews and projected records for 2023. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes up next, coming off of a run to the college football playoff and a misfilled goal away from a spot in the national championship. Uh, let's look at this 2023 schedule. Before we look at that though, let's look back at 2022. Here was the schedule from 2022. An 11 and 2 record, an 11 and 1 record in the regular season. Uh, you look at this schedule, of course, playing Notre Dame in the non-conference. That was a really big deal, uh, having a, a big game like that in the non-conference. Then you look at the opponents in the West. They had to play Iowa, but they got them at home. They played Northwestern on the road. Northwestern was, you know, probably the worst team in that division. And then also played Wisconsin. Remember, at the time, we thought that was a huge game, but Wisconsin turned out to be. Uh, pretty bad. So, I mean, the, the Big Ten West was horrible, honestly, from top to bottom. You know, Illinois, Purdue, those were decent teams, but it didn't really matter who you played out of the West. Uh, it was going to be a pretty easy schedule for the top teams out of the East. Uh, but let's look now ahead to 2023. These are the teams that Ohio State will play outside of the division. Yes, there will still be divisions one more year in the Big Ten. They'll play Youngstown State, Western Kentucky and on the road at Notre Dame. So they'll play Notre Dame again this time on the road and that is going to be a huge, huge game. You look at who they play out of the West, they'll play Purdue on the road. Also Wisconsin on the road this year. That could be a tricky game. Uh, we'll see if Luke Fickle can turn the Badgers around in year one. Uh, but I, I definitely would look at that as, as a tough game. And then Minnesota, they'll play them at home. Uh, so that's who they get out of the West. Again, the West is, is kind of tough to predict right now. Um, you know, Wisconsin, Iowa, maybe Illinois, maybe Nebraska. Maybe those are the top teams. But you, you never want to go on the road to Wisconsin or Iowa. Those places are just so tough to play. But let's go week by week now. They will start off with a conference game. They will play Indiana to kick off the season on the road. That's going to be an interesting game there. New quarterback for Ohio State, so they'll they'll have whoever it winds up being, uh, most likely Kyle McCord, but they'll have to go on the road in their very first start. Remember C.J. Stroud did that a couple of years ago against Minnesota. Kind of a, a similar situation here. I don't think Indiana's going to be quite as good as Minnesota was that year, but that's where they'll start, and then they'll play Youngstown State in Western Kentucky, and they'll play Notre Dame on September 23rd. That game, again, will be on the road, but... It's not week one like it was last year. So especially when you're going to have a new quarterback, uh, it's nice to have some easier games there to, to build some, some rhythm, some confidence before you go into a huge game. Again, on the road at Notre Dame. Potentially a playoff eliminator type game for these two teams because if Ohio State loses somewhere else and Notre Dame loses somewhere else, this could be potentially a second loss. So that is just a huge game when you look at the playoff picture. They get a bye week after Notre Dame. So they'll play those first four games and then get the bye week before playing the rest of the schedule. So Maryland will kick off the month of October. They'll play them on the 7th. That will be a home game. Remember the scare they got last year? Game wound up being pretty close. This time they'll play earlier in the year. It seems like Ohio State Maryland have always played, or at least recently, they played very late in the season. But they'll play early in the season this year. They'll play Purdue after that on the road. New coaching staff there at Purdue. So, I, you know, definitely a lot of question marks for them. You feel pretty confident for Ohio State going on the road and winning that game. Penn State after that, going to be a huge, huge game there on October 21st. Uh, circle that one. That could be a game that potentially decides the Big Ten East. Potentially uh, also could have, you know, playoff implications. Just a, a huge game. Both teams expected to be top 10 for sure. Maybe even top five teams this year. Then there's Wisconsin after that. So that's the one that I'm really I'm concerned about if I'm an Ohio State fan because even if you get by Penn State, the very next week you've got to go on the road to face Wisconsin. Maybe they're not great this year. Maybe they don't turn things around, but there is that potential. And again, a tough place to play. That is definitely an upset alert game right there. And then they'll go on the road again to play Rutgers. So back-to-back -back road games there as they get into the month of November. They'll play Michigan State on November the 11th. That'll be a home game. And then Minnesota after that on November 18th. So you get a couple of home games there in a row before the big one at the end of the season on the road at Michigan. Of course, Ohio State 
having lost the last two years. Can they go on the road and beat Michigan this year? Uh, it'll be tough. But, yeah, when I look at this schedule, there are four games that I think are going to be really, really big, and those four games are going to decide the season for the Buckeyes. It's Notre Dame on September 23rd on the road. It's Penn State on October 21st, and then Wisconsin on the road you know, on uh, October 28th. So they'll play those two games again back-to-back. That is that is a huge back-to-back right there. And then, of course, the game at the end of the season against Michigan on November 25th. But all in all, yeah, this is a pretty tough schedule in 2023 for Ohio State. Here were some of the projections from last season. You can see 11-1, of course, the record in the regular season. My Our projection that we put out at Ohio State at 10-2 and two based off of the schedule, I actually predicted them to go 12-0. and 0. Uh, so they finished right in the middle of those two. The FBI had them at 11.8 and 1.0. Uh, so, you know, that counts a conference championship game potentially. So they were they were put them right there at 12 and 1. And then uh, the over-under had them at 10 and a half. Uh, seemed like a pretty easy pick uh, given the schedule. But uh, 10 and a half was the over-under. They did do better than that, of course. But now... We look ahead to 2023. Here is that schedule, and this is the scale that we use. So if the game is is basically a, a 50-50 game, it'll stay in the white here. Those are games where I think the spread will be three, four, five points or less. If it's under 20 or over 80, uh, those are games where I think the spread is going to be you know, 20 or more points, kind of in that range. The orange and the blue, those are games uh, where I think the spread will be double digits, 10 to 17 points, kind of in that range. And then you're Yellow and purple here, those are going to be the games that are where I, I think will be about a touchdown spread. So six, seven, eight points uh, kind of in that range. So we just kind of go through all of the games and then we will give you a projection based off of this schedule. So you got two easy wins, Youngstown State, Western Kentucky. I think those are pretty much automatic wins. I think Ohio State will be favored by you know, 20, 28 points, maybe, maybe more than that against Youngstown State. So that... Those games you can count as wins. Uh, there are some tricky road games here that I think make some games uh, more in the blue than in the green, and that would be Indiana, Purdue, Rutgers, then also home games against Maryland and Michigan State and Minnesota. I feel like Ohio State's going to be favored by double digits in all of these games. Um, Indiana is on the road, and it's week one, so that one might be closer to 14 points. Maryland and Purdue maybe closer to, to 10 to 12 points. Rutgers... Uh, probably closer to 14, 17 points. Michigan State, maybe closer to 10. Uh, you know, we'll see how good the Spartans are this year. And then Minnesota, uh, probably another game that'll be in that 12 to 14 range. So I think all of these games, you're you're really looking at double-digit spreads. The Buckeyes should be favored, again, in all of these games. So when we do our projection here, we're counting all of these games as wins. So that means you have eight, not automatic, but eight games that you feel very confident that Ohio State will win. They should win these eight games. Uh, worst case scenario, you know, eight and four. So now you get to the other games. Uh, we'll start with the purple. So I think you, you really just got one game here, and that's Wisconsin. Now, I do think Ohio State will be favored by about a touchdown, seven or eight points in this game. But like I said before, this is a, a tricky game right after Penn State. It's on the road. You have to feel like... Uh, Luke Fickle is going to have this Wisconsin team playing better this next year. Or maybe he's not. Maybe it'll take a little time. Hard to really say. But I, I just think that that is a tricky game right there. And then that leaves you with Notre Dame, Penn State, and Michigan. So you've got three really tough games. And three games that I think could go either way. Notre Dame on the road. I mean, that is a real toss up there. Notre Dame with Sam Hartman should be you know, right there, a top 10 team more than likely. Ohio State does have to play that game on the road. If it was week one, I think Notre Dame would be favored just because you're going to have a new quarterback at Ohio State. Playing uh, week four, maybe Ohio State comes out as a two-point favorite or something. I mean, it, it's, I mean that is going to be a toss-up, and that's going to be a huge game there. Penn State, I probably also would say Ohio State will be favored by about a field goal because of the home field advantage. And I think they're probably going to be underdogs against Michigan this year. They've been favored the last two years, but they've lost those games. This year, I think they actually go in as an underdog because of that game being on the road. So those three games are all going to be tough. Then you throw in Wisconsin. Uh, four games, really, I think are going to t determine the season for Ohio State. So to get a projection here, again, we count those blues and greens as wins. 
and then we average the other games out. And with three toss-ups and another game where you're not favored by a whole lot, that's going to give Ohio State a projection of 10 and 2. So that is the projection based off of this schedule. Remember, their projection was 10 and 2 last year as well, based off of that schedule. Um, not my prediction. I predicted predicted them to go 12 and 0. I don't know if I'm going to do that this year because, again, this schedule is tough. This is a, a tough schedule with those four games right there. And because of that, I could I could see them losing a couple games this year. I think they're probably at 10 and 2 or 11 and 1. Hard to see them going 12 and 0 again with this schedule. But that's the projection, an early projection for Ohio State, 10 and 2 in 2023.